starts to tremble at the light that you bring when you walk into the room every heart starts burning and nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet and worship you
off limits to walk into a room where everything is given to you, God. Of hearts that are
salvation You've loved us from the start We're waiting here for you With our hands lifted
fill this place with your Holy Spirit. Come and move in our hearts as we sing our songs of praise and adoration to you. in the Word. If you have your Bibles with you, please turn with me to Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 7. Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 7. light has come and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. God, you have fully caused your light to shine upon our lives by revealing your truths to us. The truth of your beauty, the truth of your glory, the truth of your splendour and the truth of your majesty. You have revealed your face to us and we have been able to see you rightly for who you are. You have revealed the light of the knowledge of who you are into our hearts and your glory has risen upon us. Thank you, God, that your light has come to us through the revelation of who you are. We pray tonight that you continue to shine your light upon us by increasing our knowledge and understanding of you as we seek to behold more of you. We want to behold you in this place tonight, God. i 
rising over us. Shining, shining light on the way. Oh, for His light has risen. Shattered 
Moses. I remember your faithfulness to David. I remember your faithfulness to me. I remember your faithfulness to Noah. I remember your faithfulness to Moses. I remember your faithfulness to David. I remember your faithfulness to me. Steadfast 
Faithful God. 
of your goodness let us become more aware of your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness let us become more aware of your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness let us become more aware of your presence let us experience the glory of your goodness Lord in your
Father, tonight we lift up Israel to You and we ask that Your love will sleep, sweep over the nation. Pour out Your love that they may be fully satisfied in it. Awaken them to the reality of Your love that they may come into revelation of it. Reveal Your heart to Your people tonight that they may become overwhelmed by how much You love them, Your love that was demonstrated to them through the cross. We know that Your heart is for Israel and that You've set Your eyes upon them. We come into agreement with Your Word tonight and declare that Israel is precious in Your eyes, honoured by You and loved. Israel is Your treasured possession. We declare that this is who they are and speak it over this nation. May they no longer be resistant to this truth and may they not have their hearts hardened. But God, we prophesy a softening of, of hearts, that they will be fully in a place to receive Your love. May their hearts be wide open as we lift them up to You tonight, that they would completely receive the love that You desire to pour out onto them. Let's pray.
God's prophesy that God will bring revival upon Israel. Father, we know you've said in your word concerning Israel that you'll be their God and that they will be your people. We come into agreement with this truth tonight and declare they've been made your possession and inheritance. You're continuing to fulfill this promise to Israel by bringing those whom you have called into salvation. Israel has been yours from the beginning and they are still yours completely. No works of the enemy will thwart your will and plans for this nation. Father, we pray that Christ will continue to be revealed powerfully to the people. May the gospel continue to go forth and advance throughout Israel. May it continue to reach every city, every area and every region. Holy Spirit, do your work that your word may go forth. Father, we prophesy that as this happens, people will enter into salvation and that many will return to you. Particle sons will come back to the Father. There will be revival in this nation. God, we prophesy there will be a powerful revival. Father, that you will bring upon this land as you pour out more of your spirit. Let's pray. Israel, pour out your spirit upon 
this land, that your spirit would do its sanctifying work and cleanse Israel, that their sins would be removed by them beginning to live out your statutes and laws. Pray that your spirit would enable them to be a people who live out your commandments, that as they do this, they will begin to reflect more of Christ. Father, we lift up already existing Christians within this nation to you, and we pray that tonight they, they would be strengthened in their perseverance and joy to remain steadfast in their faith. May they not only follow and live for you out of mere obligation and duty, but out of delight and love for you as you strengthen them. May they find satisfaction and joy in living out your ways, and that as they do, give them the perseverance to continue in their faith. Let's pray.
that there will be one day when Israel, God's beloved, will be prophesying and confessing this to the Lord. They will be able to wait and know that God has loved them so much. They'll be able to wait not just for you know the, the Messiah that already came, but also the returning king when he comes not as a lamb, but he comes as a lion, when he comes as of the returning king, that they'd be able to wait for him with that same heart that he has waited for them. Everything you've promised, and you're everything you promise. Your faithfulness is true. We're desperate for your presence, and all we need is you. over Israel are yes and amen. We pray, God, that that day would come quickly when your beloved Israel will turn to you and see your face, hear your name, and know that you are their Lord. We thank you, Lord. We love you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, pray that you blessed. 
uh, by just you know interceding for Israel. Sometimes it's hard for us to stir up our hearts for a nation that we might not feel very much connection to. But as we trust that the Lord, you know, will bless those who bless Israel, He will really be with those people who pray on behalf of His beloved Israel. Uh, you will be blessed. We will all uh, gain a better understanding of God's heart for His people. So I hope that you are blessed tonight. Um, we have another watch tomorrow morning if you're free, or if not, we'll just see you next week.